And we're pulling up to a truck that uh, tried to make the turn in here onto this road off the highway and it's like just a little too much speed for how icy it was. So uh, overshot it, got to spend a night in a ditch here and I'm gonna see what we can do to get him out of here. Well, that's pretty deep in there. Oh yeah, he's all twisted up in there. Okay, let's go take a look and see what we can do about this. So, look like his bumper hit right there and plowed up a bunch of snow. So hopefully it'll peel that off when we come back out of it. Because we're going to have to come back through it because we got like a sign right there. Someone tried pulling him out with his, his E-Track strap here. See it didn't... Uh, didn't work out so hot. This is the main highway, um, middle of nowhere highway. Bend is that way. The town of Riley and Burns is that way. And I think uh, during the daytime when the Riley store is open, from the last gas station here outside of Bend to the first gas station you get to this way in the town of Riley is 100 miles. And after eight o'clock that store closes and it's another 30 miles to burn. So at nighttime, it's a 130 mile stretch of absolutely nothing so let's go see what we got over here oh the uh plow truck came in here and helped me out big time because i'm gonna have to sit right here to pull him he sanded it all up so thank you mr plowman flat tire there I think we're going to do kind of just what we did on the other one. I'll sit right here, grab his trailer plate, and just pull him back. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Plenty to hook to. All right. That bumper's going to be a problem. Good morning. Are you ready to get out of here? <laughs> I'm going to um, I'm gonna pull around and back in right here because I think I'm going to pull you from right here. Uh, that's the tire. Yeah. It needs air in that one. Yeah. Okay, we just put some air to it, see if it'll take air right where it sits. If not, once we get it out, we can try. So you want to get fired up and aired up and I'll get pulled around there. A little more in the highway than I really want to be, but it's kind of what is needed at the moment. Thank you. Oh, 
it's frozen. Maybe I get a torch and unfreeze this. There we go. This grows up with ice in here. There it comes. Got it. We'll see if this take care of which it won't so we'll pull it out and deal with the tire later <laughs> i was going to try to pull him back onto here then it should be fine from there okay oh. you need me assistance for me or i don't think so i don't think i need to get any more into the road than where i'm at right now okay. it should be fine so because if i pull him back here enough i can just go to the other side where you're sitting and drag him that way instead of going farther out that way okay is my plan Sounds but those those change sometimes <laughs> yeah All right, cool. okay cool. Yeah, it's not taking anything where it sets. We'll get it out of here and deal with it after. Okay. Let's just pull on stuff. That one seats all the way. down nice and low. I'm going to dig extra hard with the far side. Let's take blue today. Ooh. Uh, sixteen.
Yeah, you're gonna get in, get in neutral, and then release all your brakes. All right. That clear? That clears. I am going to get my remote. Watch his mud flap here that I just knocked off. Okay. I have a tool for that. We'll watch the other one. I think the other one will be okay. Maybe that's not going to be what I want. You can get out of the way. Okay, now we're good. Okay, in neutral, brakes released. All right. Turn your wheel towards me. A little less. Right there. Hold your wheel right there. Okay, take a look at that flap. The other side. Oh, we're good. Okay, now turn it farther. Turn all the way towards me. I'm going to try to do this without hitting your bumper, but it's going to be close. Okay, and we're not putting the trailer into the highway yet. Okay, straighten up a little bit, right there. Okay, boom down, as little angle as possible. Okay, we're bottomed on the boom. Get right there to me. Okay, set your brakes. Okay, turn your wheels that way. Make sure your power divider's locked in. Right there, a little less. Right there. So make sure your diff is locked in. The cross lock, or the other one? The cross lock, yeah. Oh, now see if you can drive up to there if it'll go. Make sure all brakes released. If your front end starts to slide over, we'll pull it back out. Can I turn all the way? No, no, don't turn any sharper. You'll slide right where you're at. Okay, a little more that way, or a little less, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Passenger side. Keep going, keep going. All right, go pull into that turnout. Nice. Didn't even hit the bumper. And just in time for the plow to come through. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Out of Mr. Plowman's way. There's a truck coming, but we got plenty of room. All right, let's go see if we can air this guy's tire up now. No, it just ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, so my air is working. 
you can see, is there a valve core even in there? Nope. That ain't gonna do it. Oh well. That's why you have extras. Yeah, Crook County Plow Guy. He keeps showing up like right in time to clean up after I'm done with something. Thank you, Mr. Plowman. Very much appreciated. Left my remote in the truck. And this is Homeboy's other triangle, so we're gonna pack our stuff up, get paid, and everybody out of here. All right, that uh, that couldn't have gone much better, like timing and everything all the way around. Uh, I didn't have to sit in the road like bad. One hook, one pull got him out of there, no damage to anything. He's good to drive away other than a tire off the bead, which he's gonna go that way into town instead of this way that he's gonna go, because there's more help for tire stuff that way. Uh, then the plow truck showed up, cleaned up everything as soon as we were done. And then now that we're all done, paid, settled out of here, put away, the plow truck just went that way so I get to follow him all the way home and have good road to drive on. Perfect job all the way around, unfortunate for that guy to get, you know, slid off like that, but couldn't have gone better. So let's uh, head home and on to the next one.